Good evening, good evening, good evening. How are you, everybody? How are you, how are you, how are you? Good evening. Excellent. So we can see here. I will say good evening to everybody who is already connected. So Ingrid, good evening. Jose Alejandro, Mili, Roberto, Ronald, Senia, Carolina, Monica, Norma, Rene, and Stephanie Quintanilla, who is just joining right now. All right. So good evening, everybody. How are you? Good, good. Excellent. Maybe my microphone is not working. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Oh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. What about yourself? All right. So let's see. Very good. Excellent. So, well, everybody, we are going to start here. Uh, you know, this class or tonight's class with Millie's favorite activity, right? So you know that one, right? Now, Millie likes to participate in this activity. And even though she's busy now, she's going to be the first volunteer. All right. So let's say this one is also Renee's and Ingrid's uh, favorite activity. And also David likes this activity. All right. So, well, you know what I'm talking about. So take a look at this. Everybody here, welcome to the Tonight's Tongue Twister. Yes, 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 yes. So tonight's Tongue Twister is going to be simple, right? It only has 15 words. That's it. All right. So, and it goes like that one. It says like, let me just go ahead and repeat this one for you so you can say it. All right. How many snacks cool a snack stalker stuck if a snack stalker snack stock snacks all right so one more time how many snacks cool a snack stalker stuck if a snack stalker snack stock snacks that will be that one all right and then you have to say like how many snacks cool a snack stalker stock if a snack stalker snack stock stacks all right, so like this, singing, singing, singing. Very good, very good. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So, well, let's see, let's see. Come on, everybody, you can do it. So practice. I will give you right now two minutes so you can practice. But practice and practice and practice and practice until you pronounce it correctly, right? How many snacks will a snack stuck or stack? If a snack is stuck or snack, stack snacks. There you go. Very good, very good. Excellent. So remember, if you have questions about the pronunciation, I'm here to help. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see how many times I'm just no, 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 no. Oh my God, I can see the, like the first volunteers from my computer. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Excellent, 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 excellent. You still have one minute and 10 seconds. All right. One more minute and 10 seconds. Well, now we have only one minute and five seconds. All right. So let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Two, one. Awesome. Everybody here. One more minute, one more minute, one more minute, one more minute, one more minute. All right, all right, all right. There you go, there you go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, 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 yes. 45 seconds, my friends, 45 seconds. Yes, 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 yes. Let's just go ahead. Thirty seconds, thirty seconds, thirty seconds. All right. Mm 
Yeah, 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 yeah. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Very good, very yeah. good. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher. Very good. Two minutes already done. So now I would like to listen to some volunteers. We're going to be my volunteers here. Let's see. Uh huh. Oh, hey, what the lead? Okay, yeah. cool. Hello, my name is Nick. Good uh, snack stacker stack. This is a uh, snack stacker. Snack is stack snacks. All right, very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. This one. Just remember, don't forget the S when you say snacks. All right, because you're pronouncing a okay. snack. All right, so but you didn't say snacks, and for example, on those two. But then other than that, that was actually good. Super All nice, right. super nice. All right, there you go. Now let's see. Uh, next volunteer, next volunteer. Who's my next volunteer? Roberto. Hello, Roberto. Go ahead, my friend. Okay. Uh, how many snacks could a snack stacker stack? If a snack stacker is snack, a stack is snacks. Excellent, my friend. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, right? So I like it. Good job. Thank you. Now, let's see. Next one. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. All right, Rene. Hello, Rene. Go ahead, my friend. Hello. Hello. Uh, how many snacks could I snack stalker stack? Is a snack stalker snack the stack the snacks? All right, very good, very good. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So let's just continue with this one right here. All right, excellent. So who's my next volunteer? Thank you, Renee. Good job. Mm -hmm. uh, Carolina. Hello, Carolina. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, how many snacks could a snack stacker stack if a snack stacker snack to stack snacks? All right, excellent. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that one. All right, so that was easy for you. Good job, Carolina, and good to see you again. All right, so, well, let's see. Uh, anybody else? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes, who's the next one? Oh, Renee already participated, so let me lower the hand. Uh-huh, who's next one? Where is, for example, Ingrid? Uh-huh, Ingrid. Go ahead, Ingrid. <laughs> okay, teacher. Uh-huh. How many a snack, pull a snack, a steak or a stack, if a snack, a steak or a snake, a steak or a snack? There you go, excellent, but I hear a snake, all right? And we don't have a snakes right here, which for, oh, eh, that was snacked, all right? So thank you, but thank <laughs> you, no worries, no worries, all right? You're fine, thank you. Okay, now let's just continue with the next one. Who's my next volunteer? Huh? Eh, Norma, Neely? Me teacher. Who is it? Me teacher. Mirna, right? Okay. Go ahead, how many is, Sorry. How many is, how and a snack staker stack? If a snow snack stacker is not get a stack at a snack. There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much in this one. All right. So you are doing a very good job. Thank you. Who's the next one? Mm -hmm. No more volunteers. Come on, everybody. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, come on. Uh huh. What is Mealy? Oh, Mr. George, good to see you, my friend. Would you mind helping us with this one? You can do it. I know. 
Better stack. Thank you. I, I wonder, but I am driving home right now. If, no if problem. You let then, me, if, that's fine. If that's you let fine. me a minute, I can stop the car and I read it. That's fine. No worries. Don't stop your car. So continue driving. And thank you for joining okay. the class. Okay. Right, so thank you. Oh, Pero Patricia Margarita is going to the puede. class right now. Someone we have been waiting for in the Tone Twisters activities for so long. Right? So, Patricia, hello. Hello, teacher. <laughs> Ready for okay. this one? I'm going to try. How many snacks could a snack stacker stack if a snack stacker stack snack? Yeah. Stacks. I'm sorry. Snack stack snacks. All right. Oh, no. So that's it. That's it. No worries. Because... You were doing good. That was just like, okay. like a welcome to the class activity, right? So good. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. So let's do this one right here. Now, uh, what's going to be the next one? Hey, what what happens with Millie at the end, people? I don't see here. Where where did she go? I'm here, sir. Ah, I'm okay. sorry, I'm working. Ah, okay, you didn't say anything. I thought you were like pretending not to listen to me. But All I'm right, here, so. I'm listening to you. Benia, are you going to be able to participate, my friend? Yes, teacher. Okay, <clears throat> please try it. Let me see. How many snacks could a snack stacker stack? Is a snack stacker snack stack snacks? Oh my God, that was actually super good. Good job, you see? And why were you on silence? You didn't want to participate before, huh? All right, so thank you. All right, everybody, so you see, you know, every every night I try to like start the class with the tongue twisters in order for you to develop your pronunciation, right? So uh, for tomorrow, Milano is going to have two tongue twisters. Yeah. Today's and tomorrow's tongue twisters, right? So let's see. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, two. so okay. let's see, let's see. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so now we will have an activity where you guys need to go to breakout rooms there and read all these situations that happens here. All right, so it's about events in the past. So because we're still practicing the past, so we need to read what happens in those events. And after reading, we are going to answer true or false to these sentences right here, right? So first, we need to go and read this and then we need to go and answer this with true or false right is it clear my friends oh is the instruction clear or you want me to repeat it yes no, it's for me repeat it please sure no problem all right we are going to read these um notes that we have right here those are basically a uh, weird events in a weird world, right? Like something strange that happens here, all right? So we're going to be reading those short stories, all right? So like those stories right here to see what happens. And once you finish reading this, you need to go to this one right here, which is going to be some statements. And you need to tell me if it is true or false based on what you were reading before. Is that clear? Yes, for me. All right, excellent. So, well, this is what we're going to do. Oh, I don't know if maybe, I don't know if you, David, or someone else, or um, Roberto can help me with the screenshots and send it to the group. Can someone help me with the screenshots? Please confirm. If not, I'll do it before I let you go. Mm -hmm. All right, so breakout rooms. Ouch. All right, all right, all right. Central. Excellent. So, all right, everybody, the requests for the oh for the rooms have been sent. Please go ahead and join it. And let's go on this one. I will stop sharing this right now. I will send it to the group. So I don't know if you guys at the end send it or not. No, right? Okay, no problem. I'll do it right now. One quick second, please join the rooms, my friends. Thank you. 
George, if you cannot join the room, no problem. You can stay there as listener if you want to. Thank you. All right. I almost home. Okay, fine. Be safe. All right. So let's see, let's see. Okay. Uh, Stephanie Quintanilla or Nelson, are you able to participate or are you going to be only listeners tonight? Teacher, uh, I am driving right now. Uh, that's, that's fine, Roberto. That's fine. All right. Thank okay. you for confirming. All right. Poor senior. So I'll have to move her to a different one. All right, no problem, um, lady, which is Carla Colocho, right? Hello, Alicia. Are you going to be able to participate? We're going to be only a listener. Hello. Hello. Hello, Alicia. Are you going to participate? No. Okay. Marin. Hello, Marin. Hello. Are you going to be participating tonight or are you going to be a listener again? I'm going to participate tonight. Awesome. So let me send you to our room right now, okay? Okay. Let's see. Hello, Irma. Can you participate, Irma, or are you going to be only a listener? Teacher, good evening. I work in today. No problem, Alicia. That's fine. Thanks. All right. Patricia is alone here. Yes, and I said for the gadget, Shadi boy, Shadi boy is is in my in my in my house. Uh, the, my my grandpa, the the horse. Um, no no gadget is this this boy this name. Shady boy, uh huh. Shady boy. He's a clever. He can count to ten. Okay. And they share all gear from the Isla Isley. Isley. Isley of why? Isley Isley or Isley? I don't. I don't. I don't know. Está como diciendo que en Irlanda hay un pony. Sí, en Irlanda hay un pony llamado Charlie Boy. Ajá. 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 Ajá.
que puede contar hasta 10. Ya. Yeah. Eso me recuerda a un chiste del, del caballo y el mecánico. Pero bueno, eso es para después. Sí, sí, sí. Como se Entonces, eso, para contestar las otras, no como nos vamos si a guiar con esto, este, para responder la otra. O ya, o sea, solo, solo, solo es eh, de ver la oración, de ver la oración para determinar, o sea, qué es lo que dice. Y luego, o sea, con, eh, en la siguiente, ver si es falso o es verdadero. Lo que nos dice sí, acerca de eso. Sí, sí, la dice aquí en el grupo, la compañera. Isla. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The white fins a fossil of a underscored dinosaur. Species of which are now the space in Cayet. Yeah, Bectidraco. Be be Bectidraco? Be <laughs> I, I don't, I don't, I don't say. I don't, I don't know. Eh, what do you what what say? Big, big T Draco? Big T Draco? Y Daisy Morais? Daisy Morais? Big T Draco? Daisy Morais? Big T Draco means. Ah, Big T Draco. Draco means a dragon from the island of Hawaii. Oh, okay. Way back in one direction, are ready to open their the, no stop in the UK in a shopping center in England. Fans can buy a one direction po poster, front covers, clothing, and even light seals, size. A cardboard cut out. They have other shop in America, Australia, and Sweden. Sweden. This is Suecia, but it's it's Sweden. Sweden. Sweden, no? Sweden. Yes. Yeah. Sweden. Okay. Shopper in Brazil are amazed to see a massive seal. That uh, the cities, the cities, the tourists rest in the middle of the road blocking the cars and police offer have to splash water on to keep it wet. Hmm. Okay, I, I will go to a different room, guys. If you have questions, just let me know. All right, all right, you okay. Organizer of uh, an, a manual. Hi there. Me don't remember. You guys have questions uh, or any comments I, I can help I, you I, with? Uh, um, we are in, in, in the last one. Okay. Maybe it's true. What do you think, true or false? Uh, I think it's false. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, but. It doesn't, it doesn't explain that it's mandatory to wear a mustache. Uh, for most people, uh-huh. Yeah, don't it's, remember. It's, people doesn't, don't, don't have to use a mustache. Okay, maybe it's, it's false. It's number eight, right? Okay. We're ready. We are ready. Oh, you're ready. We're oh, my goodness. That was a super easy activity for you. <laughs> no, Let's it's see. not super easy, but <laughs> oh, come on. It was easy. All right. So shall you boys uh um can write numbers, right? And no. Uh -huh. Shall you boy can uh count um. num count numbers but not right. Yes. So shall you boy it's a guy from from an island, right? No. No. Very good. <laughs> I was just like very fine if you have paid attention. Daisy, to Daisy is from an island. <laughs> uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Very good. Uh -huh. Just checking, just checking, my friends. If you want okay, to okay. Paying attention to that one. All right. Okay. Okay. So, do you have any questions regarding the vocabulary or anything you want me to, um, you know, clarify for you right now? 
um, a vocabulary. Let me see. I I, I, I have one question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tell me. Uh, for example, in the use of I uh, Isle or Isla, Island and mm -hmm. Iceland. Uh, what's the difference? It's just basically another way to say island. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. It's a synonym. Okay, very good. Excellent. So, well, I'm just going to visit one more breakout room to see if everybody else has finished. And then if not, I will let you know. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see here. I think it's okay. I don't have questions. You should verify just in case. Okay. I used to rest in the middle of the room. Okay. And police officer have to splash water on it to keep it wet. Okay. It's nice to rest in the middle of the room, blocking the car. Hello, everybody here. I feel my hip feel. My hip feels me. A foca. Questions? What my hip feels me? It's a foca. Um, okay. But I guess this one was huge to block the cars. Okay, let, let me see the profile. The still in Brazil is alive thanks to the police officer help. Well, it's alive. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Okay. I cannot see the question. Um, it's supposed to be the next image. The question was: I no. cannot Brazil, see Brazil is alive thanks to the police officers' help. They help as the keeping the floor wet so she can move to the beach. Okay. Yeah. Now the last one. Can you help me, Milagro? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, organizers of an unusual love festival in America, Brave World Record, for most people wearing false mustaches. Mustaches. Mustaches, okay. Mustaches. Oh, we don't know. Mustaches. How do you pronounce that word, teacher? Which one is it? I couldn't see it. Most touches. Most touch. Most. Like most, most touch is singular. Most touches most is singular. Most touches. Most, most touches. Okay. okay. Thank you. Well, everybody, welcome back to the main session here. So we are going to continue with this. So I hope. Um, you have finished all the activities. It was actually something super easy, to be honest, all right? So to understand, to determine a simple past, right? So now yeah. it's your um, opportunity here to tell me what the answer is. And we are going to do that by saying um, true or false. All right, so I need a volunteer, but please pay attention in something. The volunteer has to read the whole sentence and at the end, tell me if it is true or false. You got that? Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. So, who's my first volunteer? Tell me. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, my first volunteer. No, 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 Hello, no, 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 is yeah. false very good excellent so you put this one false that's right right so because he can only count them very good thank you who's my volunteer for number two mm -hmm. 
Suisse, Suisse, Lemon Suisse. Uh -huh. Hello. They Carolina, thank this. you. Please go ahead. Uh, with with uh, we think that it's uh, uh, it's true because she lives in an island. All right. Can you read the Can sentence? Read the sentence? Yeah. Daisy lives near the beach. All right. So you said it's true, right? Yes. Yes or no, people? Yes, yes it's true. All right. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Who's going to be the next one? Margarita, thank you very much for being the volunteer. Her parents called her Daisy because there is a famous dinosaur, dinosaur. called dinosaur called Daisy Maurice uh -huh. in the city where she lives. Is that right? False. She said false. People agree or disagree? Agree. Uh -huh. So false, right? False. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. All right. Who can be my volunteer for the next one? Me, teacher. All right. Thank you, Mary. George, you can help me with the next one, if you don't mind. Okay. Thank you. You can only buy One Direction memora memorabilia. Uh, uh, how do you memorabilia? pronounce it? Memorabilia in England. Huh? That is false. Yeah. Where can you buy it? In Australia. America. in United States. America, yes. Yeah. Yes, very good. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, George, this is yours. Uh, if you are a fan of One Dimension, you can buy a cardboard picture of your favorite singer as tall as him. For me, it's false because it's One Direction, right. not One Dimension. Okay, so uh, George says false. What about the rest? Agree or disagree? I agree. I agree. All right, so is it false? It's false. Mm -hmm. It's false. Correct. Excellent. Thank you very much, my friends. Really appreciate it. All right, mm -hmm. so then what about the next one right here? Uh -huh. Who's going to be helping me with this one? Huh? Rene, Patricia, Carolina? Okay. Okay, says Carolina. Okay, thank you. The seal in Brazil is alive thanks to the police officer's help. Mm -hmm. I think that's uh, true. This is true. Yes. yes, it is. All right, very good. Awesome. And what about the last one right here? Uh, Patricia, Rene? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, Rene, go ahead. Is 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 for me it's false, but it's not mandatory that use most times. So for you it's false. What about the rest? I agree. What do you think? It's not so clear in the in the paragraph. Okay. If you have to, if you have to to wear a mustache it's in the but because the, the mustache are false. Yeah. All right, it says the organizers of an annual laugh festival in America break world record for most people wearing false mustaches. All right, but and the same they here trying to, you they can trying participate to break a record. in the laugh festival only if you have a mustache. Well, the paragraph didn't say specifically that, no, all right? So they just said that in that festival they broke a record, right? So, yes. Okay. Yeah. False maybe maybe false? most of people is, is wearing a mustache, but it's... Mm -hmm. So I would say it's false. That could be that so, some people not use, not wearing, not, are not wearing mustache. Exactly. <laughs> you know, I will tell you false because you said you can participate yes. in the Love Festival only if you have a mustache. So this yes. is that is false. Person, it's uh -huh. not true because it doesn't say that in the paragraph. It, you, no, it no. only talks about a record that they broke during the festival, right? So, mm -hmm. but it doesn't yes. say a, that that's a requirement to be part of the festival or anything like mm -hmm. that. So based on yes. that, to me, it's going to be false. So, yes. Yeah. Thank yes, you. Okay. All right. You. Hey, guys, do you have any questions so far regarding this activity, vocabulary? No. All right. Excellent. So, well. Thank you very much for helping me with this one. Let's just continue with 
the activity number one for today right here. So it's going to be here. Uh, we're going to practice this uh, conversation, right? So you guys are going to be just like reading this and having good intonation and pronunciation while you're reading. So it says here, someone stole my wallet last night. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I had forgotten to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about $15. But I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain. Easy, right? So now let's see. I need some volunteers, couples of volunteers who can help me to read this one. All right. Who's going to be the first couple of volunteers here? Tell me. Uh huh. Volunteer yes, number one. For reading, Norma. Thank you, Norma. Who wants to read along with Norma? Mm -hmm. Patricia. Okay. All right. So, Norma, okay. since you were my George first volunteer, so he, right, so he can be you can Brian. Decide, uh, if you want to be Brian or Kathy. Norma. Norma, Norma. Will you be Brian or Kathy? You decided. You tell me. Who? Brian. Okay, cool. Brian. All right, excellent. So you start. Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh, oh no, what happened? Well, I was working out and I had found my stuff in my locker. Just like I always do when I come back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess it forget to look the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose most, much money? That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Wait a minute. Um, only about fifteen dollars, but I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain! Pain. What a pain! There you go. Excellent. Thank you very much. That was actually a good one. That's good. 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 Thank you. Now, George, you're gonna be participating with Roberto, who's the next volunteer. George, you were the first one. You can decide whether you're Brian or Kathy. Brian is good for me. Okay. <laughs> uh, Roberto, you're gonna be Kathy. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh no, what happened? Well, I was working out and I had to put my stuff in my locker, just like I, like I always do. When I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I forgotten to lock the locker. That's terrible. Uh, did you lose uh, much money? Only about $15 but I lost my credit card and my driver license. What a pain. Okay, thank you very much. That was actually easy for you. All right, I need just two volunteers more and that's it, we're finished with this one. So who are going to be my last two volunteers? Mm -hmm. Come on, people. It's just reading, it's a short conversation. Sure. Okay, the first one here is, that was David, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. and I need one more. What about Ingrid? What about okay, teacher. Senior? Who? Oh, Ingrid. Ingrid okay. Ingrid. Okay, go ahead. Uh, I am Brian. Oh, oh, oh I, I am Katy. I'm Katy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Very simple. Okay, go ahead. Someone stole my wallet last night. Oh, no. What happened? Well, I was working well. Oh, I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I always do. Uh, when I came back, someone had stolen my wallet. I guess I will uh, fortune to look uh, the, the, the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose, did you lose much money? Money about... Uh, uh, Hey! <laughs> 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 Dollar. 
but I lost my credit card and my driver's line listens. Uh, what's a pint? Pint. Pint. Very good. Okay. What a pain. Excuse me. A pain. Pain. Pain or pain? Exactly. All right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Excellent. So Thanks. let's just continue with this one right here. Okay. Thank you, my friends. Now for helping me reading this one, let's just go to the next activity here. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I apologize. Uh, and then you tell me what is going to be the answer for those three questions. So let's see. Um, my volunteer will be, let me open the cameras right here so I can see the last person who does it. Okay, I have all the cameras here, access to it. And my volunteer will be the last person who shows me a pen or pencil on camera. Let's see. The last person <laughs> who shows me a pen or pencil on camera. That's gonna be my volunteer. The last person who shows me a pen or pencil. Uh -huh. on camera. So Milano has a pen there, yes, believe it or not. All right, so she's writing. All right, so that was Ingrid. I don't see any pen or pencil there, Ingrid. <laughs> yeah, volunteer, number one. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So tell me, uh, and some people turn off the camera. I saw you guys. All right, so let's see. Uh -huh. Ingrid, tell me what happens in this story we just read. That Brian stole the, the wallet. Okay, sorry, one more time. The Brian stole the, the wallet. So Brian is the one who stole somebody's wallet? No, somebody. <laughs> somebody stole. So Brian you have the idea, that. right? But you just have to like yeah. change like the subjects there, right? Somebody stole. So Brian's wallet. Exactly. Someone stole Brian's wallet, right? Yes, Roberto, you want to say it? Go ahead. Your microphone, my friend. Oh, okay. Uh, someone stole the the Brian Brian wallet. Brian's wallet. Exactly. Thank you very much on this one. So you did good that one. Thank you. Now, let's see. Oh, I got a volunteer there. It's going to be Rene, so you can help me with the number two. Tell me, how much money did he lose? Uh, uh, he lost uh, fifteen dollar and another things uh -huh. like credit card and driver's license. Okay, well, you also answer question number three, right? Which is actually yes. oh, okay. I'm sorry. Did he lose. <laughs> All right, so that's fine. That's fine. It was an easy question, <laughs> right? So let's see. Let's see. Now, uh, well, we have questions about the vocabulary you saw before. Yes or no? No. Uh -huh. No. Mm -hmm. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. And then uh, let's just continue here. Now let's just go to the next activity. And we are going to be talking about a new uh, grammar tense right here, which is going to be the past perfect. All right. So take a look at this one right here. Past perfect. So guys, have you heard about the past perfect before? Yes. All right. So do you have any idea about what is the past perfect? Yes or no? Yeah. Okay. Yes. If you say yes, can someone tell me what is it? Um, yeah. Ah, you see? All right, no problem. Is, is, you know, is, in simple something words, that happened uh, before another situation in the uh, past. Both you know what? Them. In simple words will be that one. So the past of the past, basically, all right? Mm -hmm or a situation that happened before another action in the past. Another. That is actually mm -hmm. correct. All right, mm -hmm. so, well, let's see this one right here. And uh, you go on this one. So let's just see, this is the structure, right? So here we are going to be using uh, the auxiliary have with everybody. So I, you, he, she, it, et cetera. We are going to be using have Same. in the affirmative ones, all right? So. Then uh, the past participle version of the verbs, like for example, she had finished the test. And this is translated into Spanish like ella había terminado el test, of course. Then for the negative, we are going to either use the two words here like had not or the contraction hadn't. Again, with everybody as well. And then past participle plus any complement if it is necessary, right? So like this one, she hadn't finished the test. All right, and 
you know, as in every question, the auxiliary goes first. Then we have the auxiliary, the subject, and the past participle plus any complement. And super important, if it is a question, you are going to use the um, question mark, of course, right? So then you have mm -hmm. this one. Has she finished the test? Which is a mm -hmm. question with intonation at the end, right? So like that one, this is just basically the structure that we're going to check. Questions about the structure? No questions? Okay, fine. So it's just continues and talk about the usage right here, right? So we're gonna have the usages. So just to have a clear idea or a better idea about this. And then we guys are going to be talking about like some examples right here. So for example, hey, let's see, George, can you please help me to read the first usage? To describe an action finished before another past action. All right, excellent, thank you. That is actually uh, the first thing that uh, Patricia was saying before, right? The past of the past. When we talk about other action that happened in the past. So pay, pay attention to the, um, the example here. It says, Richard had gone out. And then we are going to stop right here and we're going to close this sentence right here. This is the past perfect. Mm -hmm. Richard había salido. All right, so mm -hmm. when his wife arrived in the office, this is my next uh, sentence right here, all right? So this one, which it says, his wife arrived in the office. That is simple past. Su esposa llegó a la oficina. But before that happened, Richard had gone out, all right? So which is basically telling you an activity that happens before another action, all right? So for example, if you wanna say, how do you say this in, in, in English, right? Eh, el teacher había empezado la clase cuando yo ingresé, por ejemplo. How do you say that? Teacher had um, the teacher uh -huh. has started, has started the started class. The teacher has started, started, started the class. The class. Uh -huh. When I got the class. When I didn't join. Join. Oh, for yes. example. When I joined. When I joined the class. Join the class or join it. It's okay. All right. So. No problem. So you see, that's basically like the first usage right here. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And thank you, George, for helping me reading. Juan David, please help me with the second usage. Describe um, a trend that happened before a specific time in the past. All right, excellent. So, well, let's just pay attention to this one here again. So Christine had never been to an opera. So this one right here, it's my first sentence in past perfect. So. Christine nunca había estado en una ópera, right? Before last night. Aquí, if you pay attention, I don't have any uh, simple past sentence. Mm -hmm. it's, not a, it's not a sentence in simple past. It is just a time expression in past. Before last night, right? Yeah. So it says like this one. So how do you say, for example, um, yo no había comido... Mariscos antes de mi cumpleaños, for example. How do you say I that? I have never eaten uh, seafood. I before. have uh -huh, never eaten seafood. Seafood uh -huh. before my birthday. Birthday, thank you. Last All right, birthday. like that one. Thank you very much. All right, mm -hmm. so and we have a time expression, which in this, in this case is going to be my birthday, specific date, but in past. All right, thank you, and thank you, uh, Juan David, for helping me reading. So let's see, who's going to be here, my next volunteer uh, for reading? Uh, Carolina, can you help me with the number three? Just reading, please. Okay, to describe cause and effect, com combine, or com I don't know, see. Combine, yeah, com combine. Combine with past simple. With simple past or past simple, very good, excellent. So you go on this one. Take a look to the example right here. It says, I got stuck in traffic because, okay. So this one is the situation here. All right, so, uh, which is finishes here. This one, I got stuck in traffic, simple pass. Estuve atascado en el tráfico, porque there had been an accident. Antes de que yo estuviera en tráfico, before I was in traffic, something happened that caused the traffic, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why it says here, there had been an accident, all right? So, Cause and effect. All right, so like that one. Um, how do you say 
no pude pasar el test porque no había estudiado. How do you say that? How do you say that? No pude pasar el test porque no había estudiado. I hadn't passed the test. I, uh -uh, because it's like, no pude pasar el test. That's my simple test. Uh -huh. No pude. I, I hadn't. <laughs> no, I, I hadn't. Uh -huh. I, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, I, I didn't have. <laughs> no. It's going to be I a good test. I couldn't. I can't. I couldn't. Exactly. Can is the pass of could. I, yeah. I mean, I could is the pass of can. Exactly what I'm trying to say. I couldn't pass a test because. Ahora sí. Pongamos el pass. I perfect. hadn't. I, I hadn't, hadn't started. Got it now? Yes. yes. Good. Excellent. So, the first one here, it's my sentence in simple past. And then I mentioned the consequence, of course, in past perfect. All right. And yes. the last one right here for reading. Let's see. Can uh, you uh, read yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a question. Tell me, please. And what, what, what is the difference between uh, if I put there, I didn't, because I didn't study? Instead of having a study. I couldn't pass. I, I, no, I mean, I couldn't pass the test because I didn't study. The only difference in that mm -hmm. example is that you are a, using simple past in both sentences. For example, it is like yeah. you're saying in past Spanish, money. no pude pasar el test porque no estudié. So that's simple past, right? So exactly. I couldn't pass the test because I didn't study. Or you want to refer to the same idea, right? No pude pasar el test porque no había estudiado. That's basically like the way you want to say it. But if you want to say no había estudiado, it's going to be past perfect to express it. Okay, but, but it's, it's looked like the same, right? Right, exactly, right? So it's it's just basically how you want to express the same idea. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exactly. All right. Uh, by the way, George, would you mind helping me with the last usage? Of course. To emphasize the result of an activity in the past. All right. And then we have the example, I have been to London twice by the time I got a job in New York. All right. So eh, like this one. All right. So like, for example, something that, you know, had happened before eh, you got the job. All right. So like, for example, how do you say that? Eh, how do you say there? Eh, yo había viajado a, a México antes de trabajar ahí. How do you say that one? Yo había viajado a México antes de trabajar ahí. Mm -hmm. How would you say I that? Had traveled, I had mm -hmm. traveled to Mexico. Mm -hmm. And the other. Uh, uh, and well, the the other uh -huh. before. Be before I had. Before. I had worked there. In this case, it's going to be because simple I, pass. Because I worked there. Before I worked there. Before. All right, so like that one. Is it clear? Yes. Sure. All right, excellent. So do you have any questions regarding that? No? No questions? Super ultra duper test? I need to practice. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so yes, we need to practice it. That's why we have here the activity number three. All right, so yeah. let's see, let's see, let's see. How is it going to work? All right. It says there, Patricia, can you help me to read the instruction? Only the instruction. Okay. Read the situations and write sentences using the words in brackets. Thank you very much. All right. So, well, the situation here, it's this one. All right. So, and it says, there was a picture lying on the floor. All right. So, as a consequence, right? Something happens before. ¿Por qué estaba la picture on the floor? All right. So, then I have here. My subject, the bear, and the complement. I just have to do it in past perfect. What would be the answer in this case for this sentence? It, it had fallen off the wall. It had fallen, fallen had on, off the wall. Off, off the, wall. the wall. There you go. Excellent. Fallen off will be the phrase over here. All right. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the correct answer. Thank you very much in this one. All right. So, any volunteer for number two? Yep. 
just just one person please mm -hmm. thank you roberto go ahead read the situation please hey the situation is the pe the people sitting next to you on the plane were nervous it was their first flight all right uh, roberto let me just correct something right here which is not nervous is nervous 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 very good thank you uh-huh so uh, they hadn't mm -hmm. flow before float before oh, wait, one before. quick second all right they hadn't they hadn't float before and how do you spell that my friend f l o no. W N U W N. Flan. All right. So flan. No. 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 Okay. Okay. No. Uh huh. So what's the past participle of fly, my friend? Flow. Flown. Flown. It was correct then. Yes. All right, so uh -huh. what is it now? Before. Uh, before. before. Oops. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. They hadn't flown before. All right, very good. So, and then you go with, thank you, my friend. That was actually a super nice job. And let's just go with the next one. Who's my next volunteer for number three? Yes, volunteer for number three. Yes. You see, people, you're taking so long for being the volunteer, and then you want to go to sleep. <laughs> All right, so. You went back to your hometown recently after many years. Okay. It wasn't the same as before. So, what is it? It, it has changed a lot. A lot. Very good. Excellent. Thank you, George. All right. What about the next one? Uh huh. Where is like, you know, people who were participating before, like, where is Mary? Is Mary here? Milagro. Oh, well, I mean, it's working. All right. Juan David, what happens? Uh huh. Mary, are you there? Hi. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Help me with number four, please. Somebody sang a song. You didn't know it. Uh huh. So, mm. what's the answer? I hadn't. I hadn't. Um. Er. How do you spell the verb in past participle? Er. Mm. Er, I think er is accent. Yeah, how do you spell it? Just checking the spelling. Uh huh. H I E E I E I A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A A before all right excellent thank you very much all right so let's go for the last one right here which is going to be let me see here all right so oh who's my volunteer there no that was not this one oh well patricia yes of course thank you oh me yeah oh, i invited rachel to the party but she couldn't come okay she had arranged to do something else. She had arranged uh, to do something else. To do something else. Something else. There you go. Excellent. So, people, would you agree with this one? Yes or no? Yes. All right. Very good. Excellent. So, questions about how to use past a uh, perfect? Mm -hmm. No questions. No questions? Uh-huh. Before I let you go, people, we will just go on this one quickly. All right? No worries. No worries. No worries. We are going to be working only on this one here. It's easy. All right. So we were going to compare right here. So we need to, like, match. 
this one and yeah, like this one here it says this it says here use a simple pass or pass continuous with the verbs in column a and the simple pass on the past perfect in column b so we are not going to be working on this one because this is about a mm -hmm. simple pass or pass continuous so we're going to focus on this one only all right which is going to be about simple pass or past perfect all right so let's see okay george please give me a hand and help me to read this one and if you can Give me the answer at the same time. Luckily, mm -hmm. I have given a friend a copy of them and mm -hmm. she had came over and let me in my apartment. There you go, exactly, right? I have given, very good. Or oh, perhaps I need to do a little bit bigger right here. All right, I had given a friend a copy of them, so she came over, right? Yeah. All right. So like that one. Thank you. And let me into my apartment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, George. Renee, you want to go with letter B? Hmm? Uh, it had reached the fixed floor when it uh, stopped. It. All right. When it stopped. All right. After I, I was stopped for an hour. I and was stuck, all right. For an hour, someone had started the game. Uh -huh. That's right. Is that my one? Someone... I was stuck? For an hour. No, after uh, I was stuck for an hour, uh -huh. someone uh, had it started. Had started it again. Again. Yeah. Again. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Sorry that this one is just now my computer is stuck, so I cannot type anymore. All right. Let's go with letter C. Thank you, my friend. All right. So who's letter C right here? Thank you. Thank you. Let's go with who? Who? Oh, Juan David. Thank you. Appreciate it, Juan David. Excuse me, teacher. Uh huh. <laughs> Help me with letters. Oh, right. Good evening. All right. So, letter C. Letter C. I guess. Okay. I, I guess. Uh, where? Uh, leave we, it. We. We. Pardon? Excuse me. We leave it. We. 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 That's easy. How is it, people? One. Okay. See this one. Let's start it. Excuse me, excuse me. We uh -huh. were leave it. We have left. We have left. We have left, exactly. Right? Uh, have left. Me. All right, so the door unlocked because that's how the thief people pass here. Got it. Got, got it. into the house. Oh, Very good. And the last one, the last one, so we can go to sleep, people. All right, so let's see who's going to be my last volunteer here. Come on, people. It depends on you how quick we're gonna go to sleep. Uh huh. Oh, come on, Carolina. Thank you. All right. So thought. go ahead. I have I try. Okay. Luckily, I have brought uh -huh. okay. my cell phone uh -huh. and with me, so I called my brother for help. Yay, excellent. Yes or no, my friends? Yes. Thank yes. you, thank you. Well, yes. I just want to say thank you very much for participating in all the activities, for being on time connected in the class, right? And I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful mm -hmm. night, everybody. Take care. You too. Good night. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Nice Take care. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Tomorrow, double tongue twister for you, Millie. Okay, teacher. I'm sorry. I couldn't be totally in class. It's okay. I understand you're still working, all right? So, but thank you for trying. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Have a good night.